fact that protesters could go anywhere near the Bank of Ghana because the name of the protest is Occupy Bank of Ghana. Okay, so the name of a protest does not necessarily determine the roots of the protest. And as I mentioned earlier, the service has engaged extensively with the demonstrators, and this is the agreed route. This is the route that both parties have agreed on, and these are the routes that are going to be used for the demonstration. So from the locations I mentioned, that is going to be the exact places that the demonstration will, where it will begin, where they will pass through, and where they will terminate. That is what has been agreed upon, and that is what will follow tomorrow. And so I will refer all of us to what the Public Order Act provides. And among other things, it provides that when the police has been set with a notice for a protest, the service is to conduct a security assessment of the routes and the locations proposed. And when the police has concerns that following these routes can endanger public safety, public order, and the provision of essential services, the police is able to ask or request of the organizers to make changes to their proposed routes. And the act, I must say, envisage a situation where the police and organizers might not come to a good compromise. And for that matter, the provision of the law court was made that where there is a disagreement between the two parties, the police can go to court and so can the organizers go to court for a determination. So per the security assessment conducted by the police service, the Bank of Ghana is a security zone and we've advised the organizers accordingly. And if they have any dissatisfaction with the police uh, proposal to them, they are allowed to go to the court so that the court determines the matter.